Yo, what's up guys? Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and today we're talking about the age-old question Should you go with a general store or a niche store? Let's jump in So I know a lot of people may disagree with what I say, you know, because general stores work for a lot of people, niche stores work for a lot of people, and there's not necessarily one correct answer. However, there are certain things that I think uh, you should take into consideration when you're choosing which one to do. Uh, long story short, I prefer niche stores. I think that they're much better. I think that, uh, you know, they convert better. However, uh, I'm gonna go over both of them. So uh, yeah, let's jump in. But before we do that, three quick things. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Why would you not subscribe? We're dropping free value every single day. And if you hit that notification bell, you'll be notified every single time we drop the content, which again, is every single day. So why would you not want to? Lastly, go ahead and leave me a like. Uh, you know, it lets me know that you actually like the content and you want me to continue making it. And uh, yeah, that's it, let's jump in. So guys, general versus niche store, which is better? Like I said, I like the, I like the niche store better, but I'm gonna, sort of like break it down for you guys so you can get an idea of, uh, you know, kind of the pros and cons of, of both. So let's start with the general store, if I can actually spell right. Uh, yeah, that's how you spell it. So uh, let's go with the pros first, okay? Um, the pros of a general store is that it's, um, it's easy to test, okay? Because what you can do is you can actually take a bunch of products from different genres, um, you know, different genres, and you can actually use the general store as a testing ground um, to be able to, to test them out. Um, your conversions aren't gonna be as, as good as you would have with a niche store. However, it's it makes it easy because you can easily switch out products because you'll have a domain that's similar to like, you know, like shopdeals.com or something just like super general. So it makes it much easier, easier to test. Uh, number two, um, easier to switch niche, which I guess this sort of goes with the, um, with the whole easy to test thing, but you can easily switch over your niche and start testing new new products and new ideas. Um, and you can keep the same domain. So in, in my opinion, these are like the the, the two pros of that. Um, not a huge fan of general stores, but that's that's kind of the pros. Um, the cons, let's see how we, there we go. Um, okay, the cons is that it's, it's hard to target, okay? Hard to market and hard, uh, let's see, hard to upsell, okay? What do I mean by this? Uh, it's hard to target and hard to market because uh, when you have general products, like say you're selling like, you know, some sort of cat necklace or something, and then you have like, you know, that hair gel, that, you know, weird colored hair gel on the same website, it's harder to, to target somebody because somebody that's interested in cats is not gonna be the same person that's interested in that hair gel. And when you wanna go run lookalike audiences or whatever on Facebook, it makes it much harder because you have like all kinds of different customer profiles. Just makes it a lot more difficult to actually target and to market to people because you don't know the customer as well. And most importantly, in my opinion, is it's harder to upsell because most of the money that you're gonna be making on a Shopify dropshipping store is actually through the upsells, um, you know, by increasing your average order value. So if you don't have products that are similar to the one that you're actually marketing, it's you're not really gonna be able to upsell. Whereas if you have a niche store, you know exactly what somebody wants uh, and you'll be able to, to upsell a little bit better. So uh, that leads me into uh, niche stores, why I like them better. So let's go into the pros first. Um, the pros are essentially just like the opposite of what the cons are for uh, for the general store. So um, the, the first one is easier to target, okay? Easier to market and easier to upsell, okay? Because again, just talked about this, but it's, uh, you're essentially taking similar products. So if you have that cat necklace, instead of just having a bunch of random stuff that you're trying to upsell to a person that's probably not interested, now you have that cat necklace, but you can upsell to a cat ring, a cat t-shirt, cat you know mug, spoon, whatever it is, um, and you can actually start making uh, some sales and some money off of that. So it's just much easier to actually increase your average order value, which on one of my stores is actually up around like 33, 35%. Uh, and that's all off, off of upsells, but it's because I have a niche store um, instead. So that's one of the reasons that I like it. Um, but uh, let's go into the cons just so you know that they're there and that you know that they, uh, they exist. Honestly, in my opinion, they're not a huge deal, but uh, for some people it may be. But the, the first one is that uh, you'll need to test different sites. 
unless you land on one that's like really banger in the beginning, it's gonna be, uh, you know, pretty difficult for you. you. You might actually have to test different sites. And I went through like three sites before I actually found one that's actually gonna be working for me. Um, and the reason that you have to test out the different sites is because you're gonna have domains that are like, you know, um, so like one of mine, for example, it was fightforelephants.com. I can't use that for to market a basketball store, right? Because it just doesn't make sense. The whole, you know, audience and, and name does not make any sense. So I'm gonna have to go out and buy another domain, make another site, that whole thing. Um, which leads me into number two, is that you're sort of locked in, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, um, but when you're first starting out, you don't really know the whole game. Um, being locked into can, can make you feel a little bit restricted. But in reality, it's actually better because you can use the upsells, you can target you know, better, you can market better. It's, it's just easier to do. So again, uh, you know, I prefer the niche stores over the general store, but uh, you know, take all this information into account when you're, when you're deciding. I just prefer it. I just think it's a lot easier, especially for beginners that haven't made any sales or any money online yet. Go for the niche store and uh, yeah, it'll be good. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Um, and also, you know, hit the notification bell and leave a like to let me know that you actually like the content, that you want me to continue making it on a daily basis because we've been pushing out some fire content lately. And uh, you know, you guys have been responding to it. We've gotten, uh, the channel's actually growing a lot faster recently within the past like, you know, five days or so. So that's pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, so if you like, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Let me know what's uh, what's standing in the way of you getting to a hundred dollars a day. Because ultimately, that's what I'm trying to do is get everybody that subscribes to at least a hundred dollars a day. Which honestly, if you watch all the videos that I've done so far, you could totally get to that point. It's not too difficult. Um, but yeah, if you have something specific, either leave a comment or hit me up on the DMs at Nash Hagen, and uh, yeah, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So again, hopefully it was helpful for you guys, and I will see you guys tomorrow.